As we begin to critique the ideologies of Western society and awaken from the slumber of the matrix, we as a collective consciousness are becoming aware of new aspects of reality. A rediscovery in the reality that we are co-creating together is the Earth Star Chakra. Blessings, divine reflections. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Idalis, also known as Goddess Divine, and I created this channel to have some way to share my crazy, weird self with people who hopefully resonate with me. Also to help you elevate your consciousness and help you take back your power and recognize your divinity here in this lifetime. So if you're interested in coming along for the journey, I would love if you subscribe and for everyone, like this video if you like it and leave a comment. I love to hear your feedback. So, along with the High Heart Chakra and the Soul Star Chakra, the Earth Star Chakra has been unveiled to us. And in this video, I'm going to explain what the Earth Star Chakra is, how you can actively tap into this frequency to help heal your vessel. I personally have been connecting with this energy, with this new meditation that I found that I'm going to share with you at the end of this video along with some more tips on how to connect to it to heal not only yourself but also the earth, <laughs> right? How we can collectively help to shift and heal and uplift the planet. So if you're interested, please keep on watching. So what is the Earth Star Chakra? I have heard a couple of different sources say that the Earth Star Chakra is a part of our auric field and exists 12 to 18 feet below the feet. I personally experience this energy as the innermost core of Earth. It is a bright white orb of light at Earth's center that permeates throughout the remaining layers of Earth to the surface. Now, this energy is the root of all life it gives life to life. Similar to the higher chakras, it is about oneness, it is about unity consciousness, and is also about deep healing and release. This energy within Earth has access to the first memory, right? The oldest memories that exist in time holds a deep wisdom and knowledge that we can tap into. Perhaps it can even help with the release of past wounding and triggers. And it is also about balance. It's about bringing the wisdom from the higher chakras, from the divine, ideas, inspiration, and integrating that onto the physical plane, into daily life, and into our physical experience. Now, the Earth Star Chakra is different from the chakra points that exist on Earth's surface. The chakra points that are said to exist on Earth's surface are actually about the conjunction of ley lines across Earth's grid in concentrated areas. And in these concentrated areas of energy is where you'll see usually large architectural structures and they are typically places of high frequency energy. Um, the Earth Star Chakra is below Earth, it's the core of Earth. And if you're a wacky old soul like me, you'll know that the ley lines are actually a crystal grid laid out by our ancient alien ancestors made of Lemurian quartz crystals, But if you are a science nerd and you need the cold, hard facts, <laughs> I'm gonna give them to you. So yeah, if, you're, if you are a little unsure about um, the existence of this energy or this center as a vibrational entity, you can look to the Schumann resonance, which is measured as lightning strikes the earth and reverberates 
the frequency of the earth is measured through that impact and it was discovered by a man whose last name was Schumann and you can do your research on that. Also, the vibrational nature of reality has been proven with science for quite some time now, you know? It's the electromagnetic frequency of the particles that make up our bodies. Many different cultures will have different names for this energy, some being chi, some being prana, ashe, life force energy, and science actually calls it biofield energy. And the same matter that makes up Earth is the same matter that creates our own energy as well. And that's how we're able to read our auras with Kirlian photography. And you can actually view the aura of Earth itself. NASA has a live stream of the surface of Earth's core and it's literally glowing with green and blue light. You can go check it out right now. Now, if you are familiar with the seven main chakras, you can only see five right now, but we have a root chakra <laughs> that exists that's connected to the feet, the perineum, uh, the sacrum, the base of the spine, and the feet. And this chakra is said to be connected to earth energy, right? But the difference between the root chakra and the earth star chakra is being grounded in the body, you know, the physical experience versus grounded in spirit. Connecting to the earth star chakra can help us with grounding our minds, gra grounding our mental body, our thoughts, and connecting to an essential truth about who we are. Um, so, so now I'm going to give you some ways to tap into this energy. I'm gonna give you two meditations and some other tips. So the first meditation is one that I've mentioned already in one of my videos, the Lightworkers Starseeds and Ancient Future video, but I wanted to share it with you again so you don't have to scrub through the entire video. A great way to connect to the Earth Star Chakra is to sit in lotus position or with your feet on the floor in a chair and imagine roots growing from the base of your spine and imagine these roots winding and twisting down into the core of earth eventually reaching the earth star chakra now once the roots reach into the earth star chakra and really ground there and take a hold there you can imagine light being drawn up from the roots up your spine, up to the main higher chakras, and the energy then shooting out from the top of your head and into the earth and creating a beautiful cycle of energy. <clears throat> this is a great way to ground and connect to the earth star chakra and also bring yourself into a deeper sense of alignment. I think that's the tree meditation. I think that's what people call it. Then the second meditation you can do is you have to put both of your feet on the ground for this one. So you plant your both feet onto the ground and then you take the palms of your hands, rest them on the tops of your knees, close your eyes, and then you say these three words. I forgive, I release, I let go. You can chant it over and over, and as you do, you imagine any negative energy, any negative chi being released from your body, your mind, and your spirit. You can let go of judgmental thoughts. You can let go of grievances from the past. You can let go of anger and stress and frustration, and imagine the earth taking these negative thought forms or taking these memories of people who may have hurt you in the past and ask that this energy be transmuted into light for the highest good of everyone involved. It's a really simple way to connect to, to the Earth Star Chakra and it works. I've been using that one a lot lately. Highly recommend it. It's actually an old Taoist practice 
So another great way to connect to the Earth Star Chakra that isn't necessarily, you know, visualization is to create a productive flow of energy or a flow of productivity. So because, you know, we're trying to come into balance and because the energy of the Earth Star Chakra is about, you know, linking higher consciousness onto the physical plane, to align with that energy is to get into a flow state um, and how do you do that, right? So a flow state is essentially a state of being connected to a higher self or, you know, being moved by a spiritual self in a sense and allowing yourself to move only through this deep knowing. When you're in a flow state of productivity, you aren't forcing yourself to do stuff you don't want to do. Instead, you wait for the, opp the opportune moment to do whatever it is that you want to do. And it can feel like procrastination, but it's really waiting for the right time and, and you know, trusting that you are in alignment. When I film or I'm creating content, it's coming from a place of being deeply in alignment and, and in a flow state. So instead of like, forcing myself and creating a schedule and doing th feeling like I had to do something at a certain time in order to yield certain results. Now it's like, what is it that I should be doing? You know, I deepen into my, my inner truth and honor that. So I invite you to do the same. And lastly, in order to tap into this frequency, I wrote down to use music. Now, the Schumann resonance is actually 7.83 hertz. So if you search 7.83 hertz into YouTube or the Schumann resonance, you'll get a bunch of different soundtracks, play one, and use that energy to, to heal, tap into your earthly wisdom, perhaps tap into a flow state, tap into a unity consciousness, and elevate your frequency. Awesome! Well, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm so glad you clicked on this video. If you want more of me, I am attempting to make videos every Tuesday, you know, if it's in divine alignment with, you know, what is meant to be. <laughs> I will be posting every Tuesday from now on. So check me out on this channel and i love you so much have a beautiful day happy earth star chakra energy and i will see you next time